So day three of week four gets underway then with the DV Novices Hurdle. Two miles, seven furlongs, just shy of three miles in. Top one, Boom Docker, Kevin Minahan, Carnoustie, David Robertson, Dave Brailsford, Paul Rhodes, Deadly Golf, Jim Murray, Forest Cape Connor, Agante, World of Warlocks, Joshua Sutherland, Delecto, Tam King, James Sign, Derek Hinton, Molly Boots, Stu Gray, Nacho House, Darren Thompson, Nobel Queen, Paul Rhodes, Norman Bread, Derek Hinton and Tiger Cut for Graham Clutterbuck. So 13 of them men in this opening race on day three of week four. And race down towards the first flight of hurdles. Novice hurdles these, just shy of three miles, so maybe we'll avoid any problems with a pull-up kit. And Fire Escape is just about the first to show any. Now got a couple of things clear. So Fire Escape it is then. He's going to take them along with the grey Delecto closest to us as they come down to the second. Over that one nicely as well, looking towards the back of the field, Nacho House and Boom Docker are towards the back with Tiger Cut. And they've got quite a long way to go till they take number three of the 16, so quite a few flights still to jump and Fire Escape is the leader from Delecto second. Dave Brailsford's moved through into third as they take number four. One mistake there by Stu Grace was on the inside, Molly Boots that one has shuffled back a little bit. I think Molly Boots might be named after one of his cats, I think. Oh, is it a cat that died a couple of years ago? Whether it's that one or the new one. Sorry, still, I can't remember which one it is, but I'm pretty sure you've got a cat called Molly. If you haven't, I'm sure you'll let me know. Well, did have a cat called Molly. Anyway, it's Fire Escape in front as they come down towards the fifth. And we'll get over that one, okay. Sometimes I wish you just never started saying something, don't you? you suddenly realise halfway through saying it. Crikey, I can't remember which one it was. Anyway, Fire Escape's in the lead. Remembering it that counts. Ward of Warlocks is second. Dave Browsford is third. Molly Boots on the inside of Deadly Gulf and Delecto. The second of the two greys now. Carnoustie and the David Robertson colours on the inside of Norman Bread, the first of Derek Hinton's horses. Nobel Queen is the second of Paul Rhodes' in the white. And the, after that one, we've got Tiger Cut and James Sign on the inside is Derek Hinton's second horse with Boom Dock of a Kevin Minahan at the back with Nacho House. For Darren Thompson, so Connor Aganti shows the way home then. On the far escape, leads by about three as they take number six. Skipping over that one nicely. With World of Warlocks in second, Dave Brailsford third, and Deadly Golf, Molly Boots, and Delecto. I've got no idea who Dave Brailsford is. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Probably somebody I should have heard of, but I haven't. So, sorry about that, Paul. And it's far escape in front. World of Warlocks is second. Dave Brasford, Deadly Gulf. As they skip over number seven. The forest Gulf still showing away. The new order's pretty much as you were at the moment. They're all still reasonably placed. Nothing totally out of it yet. They've got a mile and a half still to race, and they're just about coming to the midway point. And they jump in the eighth which means half the flights of hurdles have been jumped now as well. And Fire Escape continues to lead by three to World of Warlocks in second. So they take number nine. Oh, the World of Warlocks is one of those games that people play on those funny shaped boards with dices that have 36 sides on, or whether it's a computer game or a film or I don't know. Anyway, I don't know a lot about this, race, do I really? <laughs> take number ten. And Fire Escape's in front. Deadly Golf is second. Molly Boots is third. Dave Brelton's fourth. And World of Warlock, Delecto, Carnoustie. I know that's a golf course. Might be a place as well, I suppose. Then James Sign and Nobel Queen. Nacho House, Norman Bread, Tiger Cut, and Boom Docker. Who we know was a good horse in the 70s at running the Grand National for most years. And for the 11th we go then. And we've lost one now. I think we have indeed Carnoustie. So Carnoustie, out of bounds, in the bunker. Whatever you want to say, he's out. And Fire Escape is still in the lead. See them that many fallers over hurdles, do we? And Deadly Golf is in second place. Delecto and Molly Boots next to the two greys. And World of Warlocks and Dave Brailsford. And the two Hinton horses together. James Sign and Norman Bread. And Nobel Queen. You know, that one, Tiger Cut, Boom Docker, and finally Nacho House. At the back with just six furlongs still to race. And Fire Escape yet to be headed. Deadly Golf and Delecto. Well, they're queuing up to do just that, though, and it looks like Delecto might be the first one to try it. Fire Escape hanging on grimly on the inside as they take the 12th, and Fire Escape still just in front 
from the Lecto, but it's pretty close. Deadly Golf, then World of Warlocks. Molly Boots is still there on the inside. The Hinton Bear getting closer. Then Dave Browsford now makes a bit of a spurt. Nobel Queen leads the back four, but it's Forest Escape's kicked on again there. Forest Escape then kicks on round the turn and suddenly goes another length and a half clear of Deadly Golf in second. Molly Boots the ground on the inside of the other grade. The Lecto over the 13th they go. They've got three more to take now. And Molly Boots, another mistake there, drops out of it, but it's Forest Escape who's gone for home. I think three clear now. Here comes Norman Brett on the outside. Wall of Warlocks as well. So is Dave Brasford, Deadly Golf, Delecto, James Sign is next. They've got two and a half furlongs to go. That's the third from home. And Fire Escape is still battling on him. The lever there. Queuing up behind him again now. World of Warlocks. James Sign. World of Warlocks is the next one to come and try and challenge for the lead. But Fire Escape's got the rail over the second last. Fire Escape got over it better again. Fire Escape in the lead from James Sign. Norman Bread. Deadly Gulf. World of Warlocks. They come down towards the final fight. There's just a furlong to go. Over it they go. And now finally he's overtaken. It's Dave Brasford who hits the front. Dave Brasford from Norman Bread. World of Warlocks. Dave Brasford by about a head. Dave Brasford still have to pull away, Ward of Warlocks is trying to close, but Dave Brailsford's going to take it. Dave Brailsford wins it, Ward of Warlocks is second, James Stein is third, then Deadly Gulf. The third will go back to Tiger Cup. Fire Escape did his best to try and make all, but Dave Brailsford, whoever he is, takes it for Paul Rose. Ward of Warlocks for Joshua Sloan is second, James Stein for Derek Hinton third, Deadly Gulf for Jim Murray was fourth, and Norman Bread for Derek Hinton again was fifth.